What's up everybody, Reverend Saint here and I got some Gears of War Judgment free-for-all obliteration for you guys. And I say obliteration because normally a free-for-all match for me lasts about 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes, 11 minutes. This one only lasts about 5 minutes and 45 seconds, which is crazy because I had actually played a few games with these people already, like, like uh, probably about 2 or 3 games with them, maybe four actually and i was struggling against them i could not win i think i might have won one but barely by like one point at the very end the rest of the time i was struggling i was barely keeping up their top three top five i could barely do it but this one i don't know what it was maybe it was the map but i just went ham and tore them apart it's so much fun but there is a special person in this game that i will talk about in a little bit so keep your eyes peeled you might notice who they are or what it is or maybe you don't know what it is and you'll get freaked out so I guess we'll see. But first off, I want to raise a question to you guys. And it is a very big, kind of open-ended question. But I want to involve you guys a lot more into my videos. Get some conversation going so we can be best buddies and friends. Stuff like that. So, first question I want to ask you guys is what game are you guys playing right now? I want to know because there is actually a lot of really great games out there. Obviously, Gears Judgment is one of them. I actually just played Bioshock Infinite and Tomb Raider. Bioshock Infinite is absolutely amazing. Tomb Raider you should play before you play Bioshock Infinite because it will ruin you for Tomb Raider because Tomb Raider is not that good. It's, it just doesn't stack up. But it's still a fun game, still entertaining. You should definitely play it because it's a reboot of a legendary character and so on and so forth. So let me know in the comments down below what games are you playing right now. I want to know. Let me know in the comments. Is it good enough? Is it worth paying 60 bucks? Is it worth buying a special edition? Is it not worth buying at all? Is it not even worth playing? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion. Get some conversation going, yo! And actually, funny thing is, I haven't even played the finished the campaign in Gears Judgment yet, and that's been out the longest so far. Uh, and that's because I think no, it hasn't been out. Tomb Raider's been out the longest. Um, but that's because I just I don't know. I've been playing multiplayer so much because I love it. I did grind out a lot of levels last night, and I am really enjoying it. Although I'm not a big fan of the like episodic levels of it. It's kind of weird, kind of levelish i don't know but it's kind of arcadey but i do like it a lot actually i just don't love it it's just keeping me from loving it but anyway let's talk about that special thing in this gameplay and you guys might have noticed it a little bit before in in, in here but uh it's kind of hard to spot up until the very end you get a really clear shot of what it is uh basically it's called an epic reaper and what this person is is a player with a special skin that looks like a skeleton engulfed in smoke mixed with a locust and they got bats flying around them and stuff like that they're really special because it is actually a developer i think it's a de they have developers doing it as well uh but or a community figure in the gears community or a like the community manager and stuff like that or in this case it is a forum admin for the official gears of war forums this person's name is I'm going to try and pronounce this wrong. I mean, I'm going to pronounce it wrong anyway. Sherle, Sherlai. Sherlay. I'm going to go with Sherlay. I'm going to call him Charlie because Charlie can go both ways. I know girls with nicknames named Charlie, and I know guys whose names are Charlie. So, Charlie. Charlie's right there. Charlie is an Epic Reaper. If you kill Charlie in a game or one of the other Epic Reapers, you get a meple, a meple, a medal called don't fear the reaper a little pause there i had to remember what it was called i'm pretty sure it's called don't fear the reaper but you get that medal you can put it on your name and it'll pop up when you kill people it'll pop up when you die just like right there you can see those medals by our names and stuff like that it'll pop up then and also you get a skin that goes across every single weapon in the game called reaper killer i'm pretty sure and basically what it is it is it looks like an infected cog omen on your like on your gun on the side of your gun and it's like animated it's got like smoke coming off of it and stuff like that although my personal opinion it's kind of hard to see because it's black on silver uh to me i would have put like some green or maybe some yellow in there kind of like emotion type look maybe uh because it's just hard to see and i am a designer for cop cards and stuff like that so like i like things about so anyway you gotta kill them, you get all that cool stuff. There are a few of them though, so what you should do in order to find this person online and actually try to get the, the medal, if you want to get the medal and the skin, you should follow these people on Twitter. Now, I only know two of them are uh, for sure. I don't know any of the other ones uh, 100%, so I'm not going to put their Twitters up there or anything like that. But follow these people on Twitter, and they tweet out when they're going in, and they'll also put like hashtag Epic Reaper in their name or stuff like that. But the first one is the person in this game. Is I sure just read it down below on the bottom of the screen and also i flack everyone knows who i flack is she also does that i've seen some videos with her in it and stuff like that she's real cool and you should be following both of these people anyway if you're gears fans so uh follow them for you know updates when they're going in and doing that 
Uh, but that's pretty much it on the Reaper aspect. I do want to talk about how my opinions changed a little bit about this game. Uh, but I am running out of time. So I'm just going to mention the main thing. It's the melee. The melee just seems kind of like it doesn't register like it should. Uh, it, I, I kind of want to chalk it up to lag. It probably is lag, but sometimes it really just seems like it's not registering like it's supposed to. And actually, right here, I'm going to stop talking about that. I think this is where you get you right there. You get a really good look of the Reaper. Looks freaking bad, eh, man? It's nuts. This person kills him, and then I kill that person, and then I die. Uh, but then the game winner is absolutely amazing, guys. I get a nice little stick, and I just stand there and watch. Absolutely epic. That could be it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it. I do want to say Bioshock Infinite playthrough coming through because that game is so amazing. Doing it on PC. There's a stick for the win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to leave a like, a favorite. And if you like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.